Hello students, next important table, I mean there are several tables are the, to determine the ratings which is called power rating. Power ratings, actually it should be power ratings for V belt in kilowatt. Okay, so we are going to find out power rating which is known uh, as PR. Okay, so the uh, unit will be kilowatt. Now depending upon the cross sections A, B, C, D or E, we have different tables for this PR, that power rating. So look at this, first table is for cross section A, table number 14.18 A, okay, page number 317. So for other cross sections you see, for cross section B also it is available, okay, for cross section B this is the table, okay, for cross section C we have a table, for cross section D we have a table section e also we have a table okay all these values are given hmm. now you see let's uh, i mean i'll explain it uh, with cross section a table look at this okay so see uh, equivalent pitch diameter de in mm something de is written okay but uh, we need to know what is de here okay so de is actually can be found by multiplying a factor with the smaller diameter d okay that is uh, uh, for a smaller diameter which is for uh, your uh, uh, smaller pulley okay so we have that factor here somewhere okay this is written as small diameter factor okay this this one small diameter factor kd okay see speed ratio range small diameter factor is there speed ratio range will come to this but look at this uh, we will have have to look at one more formula here see um, here you see de see it is written page number 295 de is written as d into kd kd is the small diameter factor you see small diameter factor so uh, your diameter small of uh, smaller pulley can be uh, found from your uh, data book or also it, it may be given in your question so multiply this with the factor okay to get this equivalent diameter de okay now you see look at this k d okay so k d small uh, now you see k d can be found out using speed ratio range that means what is speed ratio now okay so going back to your gear okay, gear design that you have learned in your theory of machines you see speed ratio i is nothing but suppose you have two gears meshing meshed okay two gears here gear one g1 we have written so gear two okay g2 so they are rotating in this manner okay now see there this diameter let's say for this gear is g1 for this is d2 okay and uh, their speed for this one gear number one gear number two speed is n1 for this speed is n2 okay number of teeth is t1 number of teeth is t2 for this now if we find the ratios and we term it as let's say diameter d2 is bigger than d2 is bigger than d1 let's find out d2 by d1 this ratio we term it as your speed ratio which will also be equal to the number of teeth okay the larger i mean the more the teeth we have that means the larger the diameter okay so the increase the diameter diameter if you go in increasing we need to insert i mean to uh, cut more teeth there so it means this is directly proportional the more the diameter the more the teeth the lesser the diameter the lesser the teeth okay but you see the smaller one always runs faster than the bigger one so that means when the diameter is smaller it will run faster so always the speed that rpm will be reverse okay the opposite n1 by n2 why because this is bigger pulley and it has to rotate slower okay then the smaller pulley that's why the speed ratio will be reversed i mean diameter ratio and teeth ratio is directly uh, uh that, that is in, sorry that is inversely proportional to the speed now for bell drive we don't have the teeth rather these two are already there now see for bell drive you see have a look at this so for build one build uh, this is the build drive so we have smaller diameter bigger diameter okay for this also we have some rpm and let's say this is n1 this is n2 okay so this now obviously the smaller one will rotate faster than the bigger one okay so if you find the diameter ratio capital d which is larger and smaller the small d which is smaller 
this will always be inversely proportional that means for value corresponding to capital d will come in the denom uh, your uh, your here in your denominator and this will go to numerator the opposite way so for d it will be n1 okay for this is n2 when I mean, if you find out a uh, ratio of bigger pulley to smaller pulley okay which is nothing but the speed ratio we call speed ratio okay now see this is inversely proportional so this is now see n1 will be more than n2 because it is smaller okay so that's why n1 will rotate faster so they will ultimately if uh, whatever if you find out the diameter ratio if you know the diameters then also will get the same value and your uh, ratios of speed also will give you the same value okay so now this is called speed ratio now you see look at this speed ratio range now let's say your speed ratio is around uh, you have found this as 1.5 after finding out the ratio of diameter so find out 1.5 is there somewhere uh, so 1.233 1 1.2 1.4 to 1.5 so it will, it will lie in this range okay 1.430 to 1.5 so 1.5 is your value so your small diameter factor is 1.11 okay so you have to multiply small diameter factor kd with diameter to get de okay but uh, in general we are actually eliminating this okay step and we are actually directly taking your smaller diameter as equivalent diameter okay we are neglecting this i mean you are allowed to neglect it so uh, in that case we are not going to follow this step but this is the actual process that should be followed okay now since you are going to take that your uh, smaller uh, sorry uh, the diameter uh, which is the diameter given for smaller pulley to exactly equal to the equivalent diameter okay so you have to let's say your diameter uh, small d is given as 120 degree something okay so now you find out let's go back to the table here see now for cross section a i was explaining so since your diameter is now uh, the equivalent diameter is equal to pitch diameter the smaller diameter for uh, sorry the diameter for the smaller pulley which is 120 degree we have taken sorry not degree 120 mm huh, 120 mm not degrees so diameter is 120 mm so one in mm so 120 is there so this is your column okay so to get the value directly you need one information that is called belt speed okay meter per second which is linear speed okay not the angular speed so that means we need v velocity v so now see how to find out so we have the smaller pulley we have the bigger pulley okay we know their rpm n okay we know the diameter d so using rpm and the diameter we can find out the linear velocity which is pi d n by 60 okay now see 60 now this is uh, pi is there okay d is in mm okay so this is in millimeters and n is rpm revolution per minute which is already converted to revolution per second by divided by 60 so mm per second will be your answer okay but in your data, data, data book they have written as meter per second that means you have to convert this to millimeter to meter so that means whatever you get you divide it by 1000 okay so multiply with 10 to the power minus 3 to get it as meter per second so this pi dn by 60 into 10 to the power minus 3 will give you meter per second now see always remember you can also find out the velocity using the bigger pulley also but if you are using let's say this is pulley 1 pulley 2 n1 n2 are the speeds now for bigger pulley if you are using capital d then you have to use the speed of bigger pulley okay so like this if you are using it for smaller pulley use the speed of smaller pulley okay they have to match okay this corresponding value for uh, smaller d and uh, the capital n now see once you have found this value v let's say you have got it as uh, around uh, take it uh, around 3 meter per second let's say so you have got it exactly 3 now find out 3 meter per second is there okay so belt velocity 3 your uh, your diameter is 120 so your value will be see 3 here this row this row and 120 is here so your value will be 0.72 kilowatt and sorry is kilowatt okay 0.72 kilowatt now one thing 
that uh, if your value is let's say value of diameter you have found as v equals to let's say 3.5 meter per second which is not available here you see 3.5 3 and 4 are there so in that case you have to interpolate between these two okay your diameter is 120 3 and 4 you write it down how to interpolate you already know so for 3 for 4 120 value is 120 for 3 uh, your value is 3.5 here for 3 value is 0 0.72 0 0.72 you write this is PR we don't know and for 4 this is 0 0.93 okay so interpolate so you can write in, in any manner any manner you write you want 4 minus 3.5 4 minus 3 equals to 0 0.93 minus PR 0 0.93 minus 0 0.72 from here you find pr okay this is how we calculate sometimes uh, this diameter also may not be available suppose it lies it, diameter is around 121 or something or it is 115 so in that case it lies between these two column so then also we have to interpolate but we are actually not doing that step and i'll try to give you a diameter okay which is all which always lies between uh, I mean which will always be equal to these values okay now 125 and ab over so if your value is 126 and 127 you can actually take this one okay now for higher values for cross section A perhaps uh, particularly you can take this one 125 and over but we will keep it below 125 or something for B cross section you see it starts from 130 130 mm Okay, 140, 140 goes to 180 and ab over. Okay, so if your value is uh, your diameter is let's say 150 mm, so your corresponding column will be this 150, and the process you follow to find out the bell speed, that uh, linear velocity, and once you get the value, if you get it exactly five, suppose, then you can find it out directly here. Five, 1.69 for 150. But if you don't get it, so interpolate between the values. You need two informations. First is the diameter that is uh, will be given or which you have to find out and the well velocity you have to find out and cross section is al always important whether it is A or B or C or D. Okay. So thank you very much.